also sometimes referred to as Modern Sunday, falls on the fourth Sunday in Lent, exactly three weeks before Easter Day. It is a celebration honoring the mothers of the family, as well as motherhood, maternal bonds, and the influence of mothers in society. It is celebrated on various days in many parts of the world. No matter where you are in the world, there is a day to celebrate mothers. While it might not be on the same day around the universe, there is a universal appreciation for mothers everywhere. The seed for Mother's Day that we celebrate today had its beginning in 1858 with Anne-Maria Ruiz Jarvis, a Christian lady who was working to heal the nation after the Civil War. Her strategy was to promote and elevate the important role of mothers and help them to create healthier and more hygienic homes. From this, she instigated a Mother's Friendship Day which eventually developed into a national movement called Mother's Friendship Clubs. At this club, Anne would teach the mothers basic nursing and safe sanitation practices to be used in the home, which she had learned from her brother, who was a famous MD. This resulted in many lives being saved, and by offering this service to both sides of those involved in the civil war, it was instrumental in facilitating the reconciliation process between union and neighbors. When Anne Maria passed away after a long illness, one of her two daughters, Anna, decided to dedicate her life to her mother's dream of a Mother's Day to honor all mothers around the world. Anna missed her mother greatly and felt children often neglect to appreciate their mother enough why the mother was still alive. As a Sunday school teacher for 20 years at her church, she was very aware of the fifth commandment, honor your father and mother, and no doubt would have taught this to her students. She shared her desire to bring to fruition her mother's dream, and it was readily accepted by her friends. The first of such service was held at her church, and she handed out her mother's favorite flower the white carnation. Mothers are the embodiment of eternal love and devotion. Qualities of a Christian mother. Quality one, possesses a keen sense of discernment. The discerning heart seeks knowledge. Proverbs 15, 14. A good Christian mother stays intimately connected with God so that she will keep a discerning heart She's willing to grow in knowledge through the reading of God's word, absorbing truth from mature godly mothers. God grants her the sentiment in the lives of her children so that they may be specifically well-trained in righteousness. Quality two, persist in prayer at all times. They should always pray and not give up. Luke 18, 1. A believing mother never gives up on her children, especially her prodigals. People will write off a difficult, rebellious child, but not a praying mother. She will plead the grace and mercy of God over their lives as long as there is breath in her body. This mother is compelled and encouraged by the Holy Spirit to keep praying no matter what. Quality 3 demonstrates unconditional love. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. 1 John 4, 18. A mother who loves God with all her heart isn't afraid to unconditionally love her children. She recognizes that her patience will be tried by disobedience, but it will never cause her love to regress in anger. Her love sports confidence in her offspring since they never worry about loss of love due to bad behavior. Quality 4. Cultivate a joyful environment. In your presence is fullness of joy. Psalm 16, 11. Those who enter into the home of a godly mother sense the presence of joy. 
Her deep-rooted joy sustains her through difficulties of living in an ungodly world. She has mastered the ability to encourage her children towards joy in every situation. Quality 5. Exhibit steadfastness in the word of God. All who follow his precepts have good understanding. Psalm 111 verse 10. She meditates on the Holy Scriptures regularly. The Christian mother actively engages the Word of God for every problem in the home. She meditates on the Holy Scriptures regularly, as well as speaking and teaching them to her children. Her family witnesses her diligence and learns from her example to apply God's teachings to their everyday lives. Quality 6 forgives the offenses of others willingly. If you forgive anyone's sin, their sins are forgiven. John 20, 23. Offenses will come from within and outside of her home, yet the ungodly mother won't hold forgiveness hostage until she feels better. Rather, she chooses to forgive immediately and trust the Holy Spirit to heal her heart her family recognizes this principle in her and practices forgiving others as a way of life. Quality 7 embraces a spirit of contentment. But godliness with contentment is great gain. 1 Timothy 6 verse 6 A godly mother receives the urge to be discontented with her surroundings. Children or husband. She recognizes that the chasing of worldliness and riches will never bring her peace. Instead, she trusts in the Lord to provide all her needs and grant her desires according to His will. Quality 8. Trust in God. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Psalm 9 verse 10. Her trust in God is most evident during the difficult seasons of her life. The Christian mother is tempted, like other believers, to doubt the Lord's hand over her life. Yet, she remains steadfast in His ability to take care of her and her family needs. She establishes a trust relationship with God and grows every day. Quality 9. Keeps the faith. A faithful person will be richly blessed. Proverbs 28, 20. Her faith will most certainly be tested in her roles of wife and mother. A godly mother will accept the trying of her faith so she can grow in perseverance. She demonstrates her faithfulness as she continues to mature in her relationship with God and others. Quality 10 brings other to chaos. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Proverbs 31, 27. The Christian mother is marked for her diligence and resistance to laziness or soulfulness. Her chief concern isn't the perfect home, but rather a healthy home full of love, laughter, and order. She keeps her home free not only from physical clutter, but watches for the spiritual and emotional clutter of worldliness. Quality 11. Hold to what is right. The writers will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Matthew 13, 43. As a godly mother, she makes the tough decisions that run against the torrents of societal corruption of children and youth. She sticks to what is right in the eyes of God for her children's spiritual, emotional, and physical well-being. A Christian mother expects resistance and refuses to comprise righteousness for acceptance. Quality 12. Willing to release her children to God. Hope does not disappoint. Romans 5.5 5. Why the Christian mother holds her children tightly around her heart she releases them to grow in Christ at their own pace. She's entrusted her prayers to God to protect and lead them in the direction of His will. 
Her influence and persuasion centers around the Lord's will more than her personal preference for their future. There is no such thing as the perfect mother, but the Christian mother continues to be perfected by the grace of God. She is invaluable to the kingdom of Christ due to her influence on the next generation. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, every godly mother is a blessing to her children and children's children. Here are some Christian mothers that possess such qualities in our churches today. Beautiful mommies in the Church of Nigerian Anglican Communion, I want to congratulate all our mommies that God had given grace to see today the modern Sunday of 2021 and we thank God for this grace. We congratulate our fathers that have been there for us, that have been taking care of us and we also thank God even for the children that God has blessed us with. So I want to use this opportunity to bring into remembrance all our mothers that have died during childbearing, all those that have been disfigured during childbearing, all those that have encountered different challenges and problems in order to bring forth a child. We remember them and we ask that the Lord we also bless them. For the children that have lost their mothers at birth, we are praying that God will grant them life, that they will live and become that which the Lord has proposed for them. It is my prayer that even as we celebrate Today, which is also a family day, a family service, a family Sunday, because our children, our husbands are there to bless us, to celebrate us, and to appreciate us. We pray that the Lord will keep them safe, that as we gather again next year, We will be able to express his goodness and his favor to us in all our endeavors. We also pray that God will grant peace to this country. Because if there is no peace, we cannot celebrate. And we pray for our sisters in areas that cannot celebrate. There are some of our sisters in, the, in uh, Zonkwa Diocese. So, I mean, some of the churches in Bruno and Adamawa states that cannot celebrate due to the insecurity there, we pray that the hand of the Lord will also uphold them. And we pray that God will grant us peace and bring an end to this banditry and kidnapping, that our country will be a safe place for us to continue to celebrate God's goodness in the land of the living. Once more, I want to congratulate all our mommies, and I pray that all our waiting mothers, that by this time next year, that they will also celebrate with their babies in Jesus' name. So to all you beautiful mommies, all married women, even those that have just gotten married, that are not yet mothers, be a mother for the fact that you are married. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Tia kole fowora O lo yu mi fo shu me son O kwa mi fo du meta 
Iya ni wura iye biye Ti ya kole fowora Do you both still have a way of honoring mothers with this song? Mama, mama, eh, ne, 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 in a mama. And the houses have theirs too. The various tribes have theirs. Houses will say, Mama, akwe daddy. Mama, oh, akwe daddy. Allah is a mama, mama, albarka. Mama, oh, akwe daddy. Thank you and God bless you. essence of this rally is the beginning of the activities of the Mothering Sunday, the day that was set aside for women, mothers all over the world. And for us in the Anglican Diocese of Joss, we decided to celebrate it this way, crying out for the children. The violence that is meted against children is what women and other girls have gone out to tell the world that that should be stopped because these children are the future of our country, the future of the world, in fact. What women are showing on the posters is just what we have, what is my call, that sexual abuse, physical abuse, all the things that are not right, that children should not experience, should be stopped. <laughs> We are going to look at Proverbs chapter 31. So the woman who has born a king must be a woman of good character herself. She must have seen other women of good character and she has also seen other women of unnoble character. I know that I am speaking for you that we are demanding that the girls who are being taken away daily, it is daily, it's not just the number that you see and hear about. Daily, people are being taken away. And I've been wondering, why girls? God will scatter their plans in Jesus' name. Whatever God has invested in a woman, especially in a virgin, that the world has noticed, and the world is stealing from God, God will fight our battles for us. So the education of the girl child is very, very important. A girl is natural, she's a natural teacher. By our lives, see what King Lemuel was saying, wonderful things, it was from his mother. So a woman has that endowment. So the girl child, should be trained. A girl also is a natural caregiver. For that reason, they need, all every investment needs to be put on somebody who is naturally a caregiver.
I greet us all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for this year, 2021, Modern Sunday. Oh, praise be to God. We are not celebrating under lockdown like we did last year. We greet all our mothers, particularly we want to specially greet our mother, Mama Angela Ndokuba. Congratulations, Mama. We thank God for your motherly role to us all in the Church of Nigeria. We congratulate our provincial president, Mama Alice Yisa. Mama, congratulations. Happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day to all our bishop's wives, our vice presidents in our various dioceses, all our clergy wives, all our biological mothers, our spiritual mothers, and all those who play mother roles. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord reward your efforts with fruitfulness. May the God of all creation be your help in time of need. May your children rise up to call you blessed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. For us in the Diocese of Lokoja, this year we are considering the Bible character Anna. And our theme for this year is the mother God is helping. God is our help in ages past and is our help in these very difficult times. The psalmist says, I lift up my eyes to the ears. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And we see in Anna, a woman who trusted God in very difficult and distressing time. She could lift up her eyes to the Lord and say, in God I trust. Indeed, from this passage, we see that Anna said in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 15, in her response to Eli, she said, I am desperate and I have been praying pouring out my troubles to the Lord. Don't think that I am a worthless woman. I have been praying like this because I am miserable. Many of us in these difficult times could express desperation, misery, trouble. But can we, like Anna, take all these troubles and misery and desperation to the Lord in prayer. Like, can we, like Anna, respond to our troubles with worship of the Most High God? And in worship, she found help from the Lord. God indeed helped her. God answered her prayer. No wonder Eli said to her, Go in peace, and may the God of Israel give you what you have asked him for. You know, Anna could have responded rudely to Eli or even been fighting her mate, Peninia. But we see a woman of character and we see her modesty and we really want to emulate this. A mother who is modest, a mother who is temperate, a mother who trusts in the Lord. And indeed, God did answer our prayers. We see that Anna, in response to this prayer, said, May you always think kindly of me. Then she went away, ate some food, and was no longer sad. When we take our request to God, do we have such strong faith like Anna did? God did answer Anna's prayer. Because we see that in verse 19, it says, And the Lord answered our prayer. And she became pregnant, and she gave birth to his son. With God, all things are possible. With him, there is no impossibility. And she made a vow to the Lord, and she kept her vow. Are we women who keep our promises to God? Are we women who keep our marriage vows? 
are we women who keep our vows to build a godly generation, a godly offspring, which is what God is looking for? There is so much that is required in motherhood, especially training up a child in the way he should go. Our fathers do instruct, but it's our mothers who train. And I pray that God will equip us to fulfill this role as mothers to train our children and to raise them up in the way we should go. As we look at our lives as Christians, we see that really the goal of Christianity is to make us like Jesus. Jesus had a meek character, which we can see in Anna. Anna's weapon of battle was worship. And may the Lord reward every godly mother in our generation in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The reward that Anna got was that she raised a prophet for Israel. And God gave her other children. There's a reward for motherhood. The Bible says your children will arise and call you blessed. I would like to just appreciate our mothers with this new paper. Namalo, 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 Namale de Chenja, Namalo. Meaning our mothers are very precious. Father Lord, we appreciate you because you are good to us. We bless you, Lord, for giving us another opportunity this year as mothers to appear before you, to say you are good to us. To say you are wonderful. Thank you, Lord, for our homes. Thank you, Lord, for your grace upon our lives. Lord, as we present ourselves afresh before you this year, especially in this meditation, Holy Spirit minister to us. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of the hearts of your people be acceptable in your presence. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God give us Christian homes. Homes where the mother in willing quest. Strive to show others that way is best. Homes where the Lord is another earth. God give us Christian homes. God give us Christian homes. In a country centuries ago, a powerful king wanted to experiment what a mother's touch could do in a new baby's life. The babies were separated for months. The first set received mother's care, while the second set was taken care of by ordinary people without any touch. Few months later, the babies in the second set died one after the other, while the babies in the first set survived all sicknesses because of the mother's touch. The power of a mother's touch is fundamental to the human experience and it is such a powerful means of communication. It is the first language we learn and it is the first sense to development. It has a profound capacity to nurture our relationships and overall well-being. When a touch is pronounced, it is better than verbal aggression. The result has always been positive. The text chosen for this Mother's Day says it all in John chapter 11 from the gospel read to us. I will only take verses 25 to 27. Although the passage may not be a powerful meaning to another person, but to a very serious Christian, that knows what it means to receive a touch. It is a Sufi language. From the passage chosen from this year, Mother Sunday, we saw Mary 
mother of Jesus, stood by the cross of Jesus as an individual. I couldn't imagine 1,001 things that could be going on in Mary's mind at that particular moment. Seeing her son, he who knows no sin, being crucified like a criminal on the cross. That inner powerful touch could only be felt by Mary to Jesus. The power of the mother's touch is a magnet. While Mary was at the foot of the cross, the power of a mother's touch speak without uttering a word. The unexpected happened when Jesus says, Woman, behold your son. Then to the disciple, behold your mother. The power of a mother's touch is in time of need. The power of a mother's touch. Can we say there's power in a mother's touch in this dispensation now? We are the mother connects others to Christ, like the mother of Jesus at that wedding in Cana of Galilee. You can see that in John chapter 2, verse 3. They have no one connection. They have no one. Comes there, the mother in Queen Kelly strives to show others that we exist. As we celebrate another Mother's Day this year, my prayer to all mothers in the world is to know and accept Christ and the power of His resurrection so that any time He comes in His glory, we shall not be born once. I wish you many of these celebrations of the land of the living. If Jesus Christ carries His coming, happy celebration. Happy Modern Sunday to you all. Uh, gorgeous, amazing, lovely, wonderful, unique, and radiant mothers out there. Thank you for being there in the home front. Thank you for doing the things that you know how to do the best. Thank you for always standing in the gap. Thank you for the sacrifice, for the care, for the love and attention that you give to all. Thank you for affecting humanity. Today we celebrate you. We celebrate your uniqueness. We celebrate your beauty. We celebrate your dedication. We celebrate your intelligence. We celebrate your hard work and sacrifice that you give at home and to humanity to make our lives beautiful. Today we pray for you that the Almighty God will bless you. The Lord would keep you. The Lord would multiply you. The Lord would increase you. The Lord will make his face to shine upon you. You would know no sorrow. You would know no pain. I pray for you that every sickness in your life, every challenge that you go through, every pain that you're battling with, the Lord Almighty will meet you at the point of your needs today in Jesus' name. Is there any reproach in your life? Is there any barrenness in your life? God would wipe away your tears. There's joy at the end of the tunnel. Thank you for being mothers. Thank you for being powerful. Thank you for being elegant. Thank you because you are the apple of God's eyes. Thank you because you are the rubies. You are like a diamond. You are unique. You are wonderful. May the Lord bless you. I pray that as we celebrate Modern Sunday all over the world, may we as mothers live to eat the fruit of our labors. Nobody will take our place. Nobody will replace us. We will never be a widow suddenly in the mighty name of Jesus. We will live to fulfill purpose. Today, I come to challenge you and to encourage you. Do not limit yourself. Do not look down on yourself. Because you are wonderfully and beautifully made. You are precious in the sight of God. I pray that you would live to celebrate many modern Sundays in your lives in the name of Jesus. You would not die suddenly in the name of Jesus. The eyes of the enemies will not destroy you. The plans of the enemy will not swallow you up. Mothers, keep shining, keep moving, keep radiating for God and radiate his glory. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord would comfort you 
and all that you lay your hands upon today as mothers, you will prosper, you would succeed, you would be courageous, you will be victorious, you will be successful in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for being special. Thank you so much for being great mothers and great and wonderful wives. May the Lord bless you. Even when you don't see people to say well done and thank you, today we come to celebrate you, to celebrate your uniqueness and your beauty. God bless you. Cheers to all of you all uh, out there and for all that you do to make humanity comfortable. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his light to shine upon you and give you peace. As many that are looking for the fruit of the womb, I pray and I declare into your life, receive your babies in the mighty name of Jesus, that the Lord will wipe away your tears and take away your reproach in the name of Jesus. By this time next year, you would also be celebrated as a mother. You would also be, you know, talked about as a mother. And as many of you that are looking forward to getting married and becoming mothers one day, receive your own miracle. Today I pray for our husbands, that the Lord will bless them. The Lord will keep them for us. The Lord will prosper them. The Lord will make them priests of our homes in the name of Jesus. None of them will die suddenly. They will continue to be the head of their homes. All that it takes and they need to be heads of their homes. I declare that the Lord will give to them in the mighty name of Jesus. May he bless the works of their hands. I pray for us as mothers. May we continue to be helpmates, fit for the master's use. May we never disappoint God. May we never disappoint our children. May we never disappoint humanity. May we never disappoint all that the Lord has planned consigning us in Jesus' name. I pray for our children today. I say the Lord will bless you. The Lord will increase you. The Lord will multiply you. As many of you that are looking for admission, for employment, for open doors. I declare to you today that doors shall be opened to you today in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray as a mother from the bottom of my heart that every pain that you go through, every challenge that you go through, that the Lord Almighty will meet you at the point of your needs in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be disgraced. You will not be embarrassed. You will not be put to shame. You will not be limited in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare to you, go and fulfill purpose fulfill destiny, fulfill all that the Lord has called you upon to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Go and be virtuous mother. Go and fill in the gap. Go and be conquerors in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. No one will take your place. You will not die suddenly. You will not labor in vain. I pray that your children will become blessed. That all that you lay your hands upon as mothers, you would succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. What are your pains? What are your challenges? Do you have sickness in your body? Today I declare, by the stripe on Jesus' back, you are made whole. He sent out his word and he let all our infirmities. May the Lord heal you. May the Lord bless you. Happy Modern Sunday. I love you all. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to all our women out there. We want to thank God for your life. We want to appreciate God for what God is doing in our generation. In a special way, we want to congratulate our mama Nigeria. Mrs. Angela Ndukuba, mommy, we love you from the Diocese of Lagos. We thank God for what God is doing in your time. You will continue to be relevant. No man, no woman will take your place in the name of Jesus. To all our Hajj bishops' wives, the bishops' wives, the clergy wives, all the mothers in Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, we wish you Happy Mother's Day. Keep representing womanhood and the Lord will make you a sign of joy for all eyes the future generation shall talk about. To the men out there, we want to encourage you to always celebrate your wife. It's not a one-time thing. Celebrate her on a daily basis. It is an occult task before her. It's not easy to nurture the children, to take care of the home front, to do her own jobs, and to still be relevant in the work of the ministry. It can only be God. It is God. It is God. It is no man. You will continue to be relevant. We want you to be encouraged. 
keep forging her head the lord is on your side hebrews 11 verse 40 the bible says god has prepared better things for us but they without us cannot be made perfect god needs your cooperation to take you to the place of maximum implementation of your destiny. I pray your destiny will never be thwarted. On behalf of good women of Lagos Anglican Dowsers and women of excellence crew, I am Professor Mrs. Motsurayo Olumakaye. It does not matter what is the matter. You shall matter where it matters. Happy Mother's Day. God bless you all. We love you. Mommy taught me how to read and she taught me how to take my bath and she taught me how to pray. I wish I had long life.